Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 15th through the 21st, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. I guess those when, when cards fall out, I have to take them. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, all right? Um, this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is still fluid, but we're going to say this is for the 15th through the 21st. Let's see what happens. It's for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend. Or something you want so there is something that is coming in between something that you want kangaroo unsettled times a need to plan ahead scissors disappointment in some affair so you may have some disappointment this week someone's trying to cause problems They're trying to you know, what do scissors do they cut so I feel like somebody's trying to hurt you in some way, and uh, you may be unsettled. And it may—I I just happened to notice the little rue, you know. Uh, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm not sure if it has to do with a child. I, I don't know why. I just my mind went right to that. So um, there could be some something that is unsettled this week. Maybe you're feeling unsettled. You need to plan ahead. There is someone that is causing you problems, okay? Um, and you're, you may be feeling some sort of disappointment. It's funny that I'm moving this. I haven't done it for anybody else. This is uh, black tourmaline, um, which is for protection. So I feel like you're protected. And if there's a child involved, I feel like this child is protected as well. So that's, it's interesting because I, I, I felt the need to do that. Anyhow, um... What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ah! The devil! So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure. But this devil is toxic, unhealthy behavior. You need to break free from something. This could be an addiction, a codependency, lust, greed, materialism, or just a toxic situation that you are bound to. You need to find a way. You need to find a way to get yourself out of this situation that you're in. This is toxic, unhealthy. Okay, that's what the devil is. It's toxic and unhealthy. Uh, instant gratification so this could be somebody that you're dealing with or it's something that is in your life that you need to you need to take back control in some way you you're looking at a demon by the looks of things I mean that is a demon right oh this is tied to a situation you are tied to a situation that is not healthy um, it's really not healthy. And there could be some anger. There could be some obsession this week. There could also, that can be a card of lust. Okay? It could be a temptation. Something that brings you instant gratification, but doesn't last a lifetime. Okay? The, de the devil is instant gratification that gets you tied to something that isn't healthy. And then you have to find all of your strength. To break free from it in the end. It wasn't healthy from the beginning, but it gave you some sort of instant gratification. So and then you gotta spend however long it takes to break free. So anyway, I feel like I feel like this could, you know, the devil is um ends in disaster. So I think that you, you could be tempted to do something that is unhealthy this week. Or you, you are in an unhealthy situation that you need to find your strength to, you know, conquer this. You're going to have to find some way. This one, we got two. Five of Swords reversed and the Three of Wands. Now, the Five of Swords reverse could be a serious battle, okay? Could be war. You notice we have a snake. So you're dealing with somebody that, you know, is probably a snake. And this is severing ties as well. 
you definitely need to sever ties with something. You do. You need to de- sever sever ties with something that I don't know if it's deadly. You know, I, I don't know what it is, but it's not healthy. That's for darn sure. I mean, the five of swords reversed is war. You know, it is. Um, it could be criminal behavior, a hostile situation. Um, I don't know. Like, you know, it's the, all that's left is, uh, this is like being chewed up and spit out. You know, you're going to have to be careful this week. This You could be dealing with somebody that wants to win at all costs. And, you know, they're going to hurt you in some way if you don't be careful. And I hate to give that message. I'm Virgo rising. You know, the five of swords. There could be some crime that is even exposed this week. If somebody has been committing a crime, that could be exposed. Um, five of swords is somebody that wants to prove themselves. But in reverse, it's about just wanting to be happy. So somebody just wants to be happy, but they've been in their ego. This is the ego and this is the, both these cards are ego. Strong ego. You have somebody here that just wants to be happy. They don't care who they hurt. They're tempted to go down the wrong path. Be careful. You could be dealing with somebody who's a criminal. You know, I hate to say that. I do. This is this could be a hostile situation. I think that you got yourself into a situation, or you could get yourself into a situation that is extremely unhealthy. And so I just I just want to tell you to be careful about that. Anyhow, three of wands. Three of wands is get prepared. This is hoping and praying for the best. It's focusing on the future. Um, something is arriving. Okay, you see that ship is right there. It's coming. Whatever it is, you, you've been waiting for something. Something is arriving. You may need, or there could be a departure. This could be an arrival or a departure. Maybe you've been waiting to go someplace, you know, and it's time. Something that you have been waiting for is arriving. You're going to probably have to make a decision of some sort. This has to do with your happiness. It has to do with your future. Think about your future. You're going to need to think about your future. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? I think that you're going to be proposition. Prompo, pro, I can't talk for weeks now. Propositioned. I think you're going to be propositioned by something that probably looks really, really, really good. But I feel like you're going to need to think about this. Make sure that you don't act impulsively, okay? The devil is ruled by the shadow, just like the moon card is. So uh, the shadow disguises reality, okay? What you see is not what you get. So you're, what you see... Um, Maybe um, very, oh, what's the word for it? It looks good. It's like, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. Don't do it. <laughs> I just got to say, don't do it. I, th I think you're going to be tempted by something that could hurt you. Okay? And this is, this is I would consider this a warning. Uh, you got a whole future ahead of you. Don't be in a hurry, okay? Don't, whatever that means, don't be in a hurry. Um, six of coins. Page of coins reversed. Four of cups. Huh. Avoid this at all costs. You need to avoid something. Somebody is going to be making an offer to you. They're going to try to give you something, okay? This is this is not stable. It's not secure. It's it's false, okay? You should avoid it. I I believe I, I, it almost feels like it's somebody that has betrayed you in the past. They may be offering you a false apology. You know, or because a page of pentacles can be apology. It happens to be reversed. It may not be real, okay? There is some, some level of discontent here. Somebody may have uh, ignored you or missed an opportunity with you. They may have involved a third party. Now they want to give you something. And it feels like they, 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 
you've probably been waiting for this person to give you something and they're gonna give you something they are but I feel like they have ulterior motives this is not something that is going to last it is not a strong foundation it's not stable it's not secure this person doesn't care who they hurt they can chew you up and spit you out And maybe that's what they did in the past. It could be. Because this I always go from past to present. So this person may have, you know, hurt you in the past. But that devil card is unhealthy, okay? It is not what it seems. It's something is not what it seems. I think you're going to be tempted by uh, something that you've been waiting for this. And I, I, but I, it's not... It's not real, okay? It's not solid. It's not stable. It, it doesn't lead you down the path to prosperity, but it, it may for a minute, okay? I think it's going to look really good for a minute, okay? Or maybe even a year, okay? Maybe even a year it looks good. But after that year, whatever this offer is that you are receiving, after that year, you're probably going to be like, oh my God, I, now I'm stuck. And it's interesting how I started this reading. Now, then you're going to have to find a way to get out of it. Okay, so I, but I don't know what the hell this is, but I don't know if this is a job offer. It could be a job offer. It could be a relationship offer. Um, I feel like it's, I feel like it's somebody that you already know that you've either worked with or dealt with in the past. It may have something to do with a child. I'm not sure. The page of pentacles in reverse is lack of commitment. This is a dropout. This is foolish behavior. This is unhealthy. This is somebody that doesn't want responsibility, that really doesn't want a commitment. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I, think, I told you I can't speak. It's been that way for a couple weeks. I, I feel like you are going to be receiving an offer that is too good to be true. Okay? Somebody's going to try to give you something. And I think that it's all false. It's not. It's not. I think that you should avoid it at all costs. And I think it's going to be really hard for you to do that. Because it looks so good. And it feels like you've, maybe you've prayed for something like this. You know? Um, the devil is a card of codependency. You know? So you may you may want to... You know, well, this is the scales is about give and take as well. So I think I feel like we have codependency here. I feel like you, you're you're you've been waiting for somebody to give you something, right? You've been waiting for your other half, or you've been waiting for waiting to receive your reward, or waiting to receive a payout, or waiting. This is waiting. Okay, waiting to receive, but this it, this tower reversed is is uh, not stable. Okay, it's not it's a not stable foundation. It's it's something you should avoid. Okay, this is a uh, false sense of security, but it could have been in the past. So I wonder if there is somebody from the past that hurt you really really bad and, I, and it could be anybody it could be anybody from your past there's been some sort of disturbance I feel like the disturbance has happened somebody has experienced some major uproar in their life and now they have been betrayed they have been hurt they may be codependent now they're now they want to give to you 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 gotta be really careful you really do um I do believe you're going to be receiving an offer that, from somebody that um, is probably very attractive to you. This person is attractive, okay? And there could be some sort of sexual pull towards this person. Um, but this person is in it. They have ulterior motives. They want to see what they can get from you. They, they want to see what you can give to them. They want to, that's what it is. I feel like this person, um, 
may have lost something. You know, maybe they've lost some sort of financial stability. Maybe they lost a job or they lost a partnership or they got themselves involved with a false sense of security and it ended and now they need an ego boost. I mean, that's what the devil is. It's an ego boost. You need to be really, really, really careful. Okay. Um, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. We have somebody here that is in their ego. They are in their pride. They do not care who they hurt. They're in their ego. They're in their pride. They don't care who they hurt. They are unstable. They are insecure. They are on... They could explode at any time. We have somebody here that is very discontent. They probably... There's something that you have that they want. Maybe it's money. Somebody could be asking you for money even. Just say no. You don't need to give anybody any money. All right? I feel like somebody wants your money. But I feel, I feel like they're going to give something to you. You know, because, but it's false, okay? It's, it's, they, they don't have anything long term to give you with the page of pentacles reverse, okay? What you, what you see is not what you get. You're, you're going to be made an offer that is, you're going to be tempted. You are going to be very, very, very tempted. And then you're going to be tied to it. If you take this offer, you're going to wish that you didn't. Mark my words. So anyway, get prepared. Okay, that three of wands is get prepared. Oh, it's either, either an arrival. I think it's an arrival. It's an arrival or it's... Uh, What is that three of wands? I feel like it's an arrival. Somebody is, or maybe they're getting prepared. There could be, there's lies here, okay? You're dealing with somebody that, there could be even some slander. This is false. Could be false accusations. False, this could be accusations. You need to be careful. So you definitely need to be careful. Hanged man. Hanged man reversed. Struggling to let go. Refusing to change. We got somebody here that is suffering. They don't they, they may not want to let you go. Or they don't they don't want to let you win. Because that five of swords is about winning. This person wants to win at all costs. They're in a deep dark place. They have some sort of desires. They have a desire for to receive something from you. And maybe it's because you've ignored them. I feel like you've ignored this person. Maybe you've isolated this person from your arena. Now they're now they're taking control and they they're going to give you something. You're, they are. They're gonna. You're, and it feels like your hands. You're waiting for this. You are. You see the hands are out. It's like and this person smiling. Like okay, it's, you know. There, there you are. You're about to receive something that you have been waiting for. But I think that you need to be very, very, very careful because this is not a healthy situation and it will not last. It will not last. I think there's ulterior motives. I do. I feel like we have somebody here that. Um, has missed an opportunity with you. And may maybe they missed it in the past. See, that's the thing. I keep seeing that somebody built a false sense of security, you know, and they probably betrayed you because there's that five of swords is extreme betrayal. This could be peace talks. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. They may not want you to sever ties with them. Maybe you're focusing on the future. That could certainly be the case.
Because the Three of Wands is focusing on the future. Maybe they see that you've let them go. You've dropped them. And so they're going to give you. So you're definitely going to be receiving an offer that is going to shock you. It is going to shock you. Okay? When you get the tower in reverse, it is a shock. And it's an extreme shock. Because reverses for me are extremes. So you may be extremely shocked. But I feel like there's there's, there's this devil card. That's, that's uh, you know, it's typically an unhealthy situation. I think that you are going to have a hard time saying no to whatever this offer is. Because I feel like you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it. Perhaps this person didn't want a commitment in the past. That page of uh, <laughs> pentacles in reverse is no commitment. But the hangman... That will not change, but it can also be enlightenment. Somebody has missed. These are both missed opportunities. This one is too. Somebody has missed an opportunity with you. They have. You're focusing on the future. And I feel like they're, they're, they're going to do something to keep you. To keep you. That's what it is. To keep you. This person may not want to fight. They might say that. They just want to be happy, you know. You're about to receive an offer that shocks you. Could be a job offer for some of you. Three of coins reversed. Lack of teamwork. Lack of respect for others. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't respect others. They don't work well together with others. This is somebody that doesn't put in much effort. They probably quit when the going gets rough. The page of coins reversed and this one is quitting. Both these cards. We got somebody here that quits. They don't follow through. You need to... I'm telling you what. You may want to reconsider this offer when it comes in. Whether it's a job offer, you may end up quitting, <laughs> okay? If, you, if it's a job offer, you may wish, that you may be like, you know, it may have looked good. It may, you may have thought it was going to give you a bunch of money. You may end up quitting, okay? So just, I, would, I wouldn't do it. There's something about quitting here. If this is a job offer, you could be receiving an offer that looks so good, whether it's a relationship offer or whatever. It's not going to last, okay? This is nothing that lasts. It's not. Oh, it definitely doesn't last. Ace of Pentacles reversed. And then we have the Nine of Wands on the bottom. This is a challenge. Okay, you're going to be challenged this week. Oh, God. I feel like you're you're going to be on, you're on your own. I feel like you're going to be on your own. You're going to have to make a decision. Uh, you're going to be put in a, in a challenging position. You may need to protect yourself. Expect some trouble. <laughs> expect trouble. I'm sorry. I feel like you need to expect some trouble this week. You may need to. You may need to protect yourself. You may need to defend yourself this week. Be on the lookout. Okay. Because I feel like there is. He's somebody that may want you to give them a chance, whether it's a work, whatever it is. I suggest you protect yourself and you put a barrier up. You put your guard up. Um, this, is, this isn't something that lasts. It definitely does not last. You're going to be receiving an offer that... Uh, maybe you didn't, you know, you, it looks like you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for some sort of offer. You may think this is what you asked for. It's not. It's not. Whoever you're dealing with may have passed you up in the past for some reason. Because this is like, it's a loss. 
It's a loss of stability. Somebody, it, somebody may have thrown you away or chose somebody else instead of you. We got this four of cups here. That's like, I didn't want it. You know, wasn't interested. You know, now they are. They have ulterior motives. I'm telling you what. Somebody may even blackmail you. Okay, I just got to be honest. Somebody may blackmail you. They may they may try to say to you, you know, I'll pay you to do something. Don't do it. Anyhow, I think that uh, you're going to be receiving an offer that you should just say no. The Ace of Pentacles upright is yes. The Ace of Pentacles reverse is a no. Just say no. Or this could cost you. It could cost you a lot of money. Whoever you're dealing with is very smug. Very smug. They think that they can chew you up and spit you out. Don't let them. So, get prepared to be tempted by something that you are very attracted to. This is a test. It's a test of your strength. It is a test of your perseverance. You have come a long way. Do not let this person hurt you. Good luck.